Hello and welcome to day 9 of Pal World. This is the Random Gamer. Today we our goal is to catch more fire pals. Cuz we have barely any. So first off, our inventory is looking a little heavy. Why don't we lighten the load a little? I think that was mainly just cuz I collected the ingots. So what does it do? Yeah, yeah, that was mainly the ingots. I'm going to take the remainder of my arrows because we are going to catch as many pals as we can. So without further ado, let's go travel to, say, this chunk of land up here. Okay, in the fort ruins, there didn't seem to be much last time, but there is the occasional hidden chest and the shiny pal sphere. Hell yeah. Extra pal sphere is always great. Ooh, you are useful. Attack. Command aggressive. Go, go, go. What are you doing? Fine, I'll shoot you with an arrow. Blam. Oh, I missed. Wow, a lift monk is hard to catch. You're gonna be That's too fat. Caught. Why do I have a daydream following me? Does it just follow? Cause like it hasn't attacked and I didn't put it out But I can also put out a Gumas I'm confused right now Maybe daydream just follows you That is wicked actually Okay there doesn't seem to be any fire pals around this edge Let's go up towards the uh, fast travel marker here and see I think that's the same lift monk I'm tra I've been tracking. Two pal spheres. Nice. This is new. I haven't come across this before. It's around the corner. Ah, it's the plateau. So, as you see, there's some alpacas, which we do need to catch to get that experience bonus. Nice. Oh, I am out of arrows now. How did I use up all six arrows? Whoa. That's deadly. Whoa. Okay, Gumas, go. Do your magic. These guys are hard to catch. 8% still. Holy crap. I gotta make sure I don't die now. Whoa! 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 It's like a full on assault right now. Jesus. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! He's coming out of me now. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's because that guy's dead. Okay. I have the weakest pals on my team right now. It's not good. Come on, ca catch the Malpaka. 50% chance. No way. No way. Now we got it. Now we got it. 60% on the dot. Let's go. Let's go. Damage him more. There we go. Come on. Really? Holy crap. Uh, we caught the one. And they got gave us some leather. That's good. Nice, level 14. Okay, we need to get back to base before we die. That was intense. And we found no fire pals yet. Oh, an Ike gear. And he's low health. Oh, I think they got him. Nope. Yeah. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm dead. I am dead. This guy. I want this one. No, they got me too. God damn it. And he died. Wow, what a defeat for sure. You better respawn with our stuff. I swear. I swear. I don't. Um, if, since we do, I guess the smartest thing for me to do is to respawn at a random location and find 
Yeah, we do. We respawn with all our stuff. So let's go find another uh, waypoint. Because why not? If we can just travel anywhere when we've died, then we can just go collect each waypoint per, uh, per death. Unlock the whole map in just a few days, probably. Let's get this life monk energy, I think what it's called. Yeah, effigy, not energy, effigy. I get, hold on, I'm going to Google that. I'm going to Google that. What does effigy mean? All right, everyone, your tidbit of knowledge for the day. Effigy means, in the dictionary terms, it's a noun, a sculpture or model of a person, a roughly made model of a particularly person of a particular person made in order to be damaged or destroyed as a protest or expression of anger. Well, there you have it, effigy. That is the weirdest word I have come across in my life, probably. And I've come across a lot of weird words. Booyah! Hey, we're level 14. We do need to unlock something specific, though, before we continue. And I forget. It was the sphere workbench. And megaspheres. Those two will come in handy. Megaspheres will allow me to catch those bigger guys that are, I have troubles with. Or even smaller guys at a higher uh, life level. So I don't have to damage them as bad. Okay, it's all the way up here, I think. So let's just climb and hope we can get up there. Because we don't have a lot of stamina. Huh? Oh, no, we're not going to make it. Oh, damn. Why don't we increase... Oh, wow, we have three stat points. So let's do stamina by one, two, one. Uh, work speed by one, and weight by one. There we go. Now we should be able to make it to the top of this rock with just one extra stamina upgrade. Come on. Yeah, we're going to make it. No, come on. Really? You gotta do me like that? Where's a shorter rock wall? That was nuts. <clears throat> Maybe the secret is jumping up it. I thought climbing was uh, took less stamina. Ooh, we could even come back home with some ore, but let's go get the tower first. Is it still 80-ish meters? What's our weight? Oh no, never mind. Let's get that ore. Now we won't be going home empty-handed for sure. All these mushrooms along the trail. And this guy. Come here. Oh no! He almost took him out in one swoop. There we go. 100% catch rate. Just like that. Nice. We need eight more Kremis. We are doing amazing on day nine. Huh? Mm. There it is. There's the fast travel tower. We're almost there. Ooh, can I get the lift monk? Attack it. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how'd you miss that last one? Man, lift monks just run. Look at that thing go. Holy crap. Fine, you can just go. I've got this to do. There we go. The net, the uh, next island's fast travel point on the left. That's pretty awesome. We will go back to base and start melting all that into iron ingot. Or just ingots. I don't think it's named iron. Over here, we can do 19 of them. That's pretty good. I need more stone for the pal spheres. So let's go get some stone. Just over here. Oh. 
Look at how much stone you get with just the metal pickaxe. It's so fast now. That's amazing. And seven palladium, palladium and two ore from it. That's great. Now, can we build the cooler box yet? Yay! Finally, we can build the cooler box. Now, we don't have any ice pals, but... So you can transfer all your food into it. I don't think it keeps it good until you get an ice pal, but at least now you can organize where all your food is, where all like that kind of stuff has been put. Because, like I said, it gets messy. They kind of just throw everything into the bins as they want, and they don't follow your organizational methods. Like if you've got wood somewhere, they don't even put it there. It's like, what the hell are you doing? So, maybe it'll get updated in the next patch, you know, they'll fix it up, hopefully. Because it would be nice to be able to, sorry, I'm just organizing. It would be nice to be able to have them follow your organization, and then that way, every time you come back, your wood, your stone, everything's in the same spot. Now, there is another way around it, you could just follow their organizational method and just stack onto what they've done but it's not efficient at all you get everything like i said scattered around and it just it makes no sense you know you want to keep things in relatively similar areas now we cook oh kebabs i like me some kebabs good and we just wait for the fire pile to slowly cook 85 berries I'll do some palladium fragments out of stone, call it 10. That'll help me do this. And can we put the pals? Oh, hell yeah, we can do the base upgrade then. So we're gonna put the work, the sphere workbench beside our building here. Um, more so inward like this so that there's room to walk. Nice and slow. Perfect. Now we can craft even more spheres than the other table. But we're going to do some of these mega spheres first. Now just regular pal sphere. We could do just one. That's awesome. Just one pal sphere. That's fine. So how's our gear looking? Where's the repair table? Our gear's looking good. Do I have enough to craft the pelt armor? That would be useful. I'm so turned around. Sorry guys. First off, the missions. Now we can make two bases. That is amazing. Next episode, we will be starting our second base. In fact, we almost could be starting it right now. But I want to find something. I cannot make it yet. I still need four leather. With this base, I do need one more of their beds. Before I can go make another one, so let's do another bed. What the hell? How does that not work? There. Okay. So like I said before, we want to make our base in one of the other island areas. So we are going to actually go back here to Seabreeze Ar Archipelago Church. I butchered that. I so butchered that, but that's whatever. I don't think I came with enough material. Hold on. I think I messed up. Yeah, I messed way up. I've got... Well, you don't need much. So as you can see from up here, you got a nice, good chunk of land to explore on this side. More west-ish looking. And it would seem that there may be... I think there's just a rock. It almost looks like a city up ahead. 
This is supposed to be a church, so I might actually just build our base. Well, I'll just wait here for a sec. I want to make sure that there's like ore around because that is one of the most needed resources as you continue in your evolution. You'll just constantly need metals. But with the church, there should be a treasure chest. I can almost guarantee there's a treasure chest or something in here. Ah, what did I tell you? There's the treasure chest. Nice. And there's this thing. This is really cool. You can enhance your character capture power, which I'm going to do with life monk energies. And you can enhance your pals themselves. We aren't going to do that to any of them quite yet because I don't have any that I would really want to spend the money on. But at the church, you can really amp your pal stats up and your capture stats. I thought that was just ridiculously amazing when I first found out. Let's eat the baked mushrooms and feed Gumas. He needed food. So maybe we won't craft the second base today. We'll just kind of survey the area and see if there's any ore. Because that huh. is ultimately what I want to make my base around. Back to the fast travel point here, and I actually want to take a look up. I don't want to go all the way down because the next fast travel point is like all the way up there on that mountain, I think, and that's quite far. So I'm just gonna kind of quickly survey. There's a flak. I haven't gotten a flak yet. We're going down. We need a flak. What whack? Oh, I'm gonna fall from the sky. Here we go, I get a flak. And I think there's ore right there. Maybe not that stone, I'm pretty sure. Come on, you beaver tail, just running away. Come here. Whoa, he dodged me. He's good. There we go. 100% catch rate. Hell yeah. So I do technically have everything to start the base when I'm ready. Ooh, my god. It's, oh, okay, I thought that was like something else. We are going to keep going, and that looks like it's ore right there. I will definitely construct my base in this field if that's the case. Yup, that is ore. One nasty good chunk of ore. And there's one right across from me too, so that's pretty good. I think this is where we will set up our second base. So, we're going to place the... Oh, we need more wood. Quickly. It's getting to be dark now. We're not going to do too much to it, we're just going to kind of set it up to fast travel too. And maybe build a little start of a environment. I'm going to put it more in this opener area so that I can have a lot more room to develop and craft. Hell yeah, we've got our second base on day 9. That is impressive. And same level, it's level 10 base. So we still just need to build the mill, the wheat plantation, and a cooking pot. Which we will unlock all kind of later on. Let's see what we can do here. We can put the repair bench down. That's useful for the start of a base. Like I said, we're not going to be doing too much. We're not even putting pals on this one yet. There's not. There's no good reason yet. It's just mainly for the fast travel point. And we are good to go back. So as you can see over here, this is another boss. So there's one boss, two, and three, four, and five so far that we've discovered. We aren't ready to verse any of them quite yet. Like I said, level 20 rounds there is where we're going to start fighting them all. And now that we're back, I think we're going to try to get the Pal Spheres re-upped. We can only do two. Are you kidding me? Just two? Whatever. It's good enough. More ingot. So we're going to place everything we can back into here. I should have mined that ore. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have done that. That's my my mistake. And he's almost done with those berries, so we're gonna give him a hand. Put all of our gold and 
leather away. I think we're only a few leather away from making the new armor. We will definitely try for that next episode along with finding fire pals and building our second base. So I think that will do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and as always, stay random.